Hey, what's up guys? It's Taylor. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we are talking about personality types. One reason I love YouTube so much is because I actually feel like it gives you a better idea of who I am rather than just, you know, two dimensional photos on Instagram. So I figured what better way for you guys to get to know me than to going over my personality type. I feel like the Myers-Briggs or any of those other personality type tests are super popular. I know I've taken them a million times. And so I took one yesterday and I figured I would just talk about it with you guys and talk over it and see if it's correct, if I think it's right, and we'll go from there. So you can actually go to this website I found. It's 16personalities.com and it's fully free takes like less than 10 minutes to complete the entire assessment and then it gives you a very detailed whole list of things to read up about, about your personality type. So you'll take the personality assessment, like I said, it takes less than 10 minutes and then when you're done, it gives you a ton of information about your personality type, like your strengths and weaknesses, how you do well and how you do in relationships, uh, friends and family, parenthood, career paths, and workplace habits. So without further ado, Let's get into it. So if you've taken a personality test before, you probably know your four letter dash last letter. Um, so five letters together of your personality type. And it ranks you in five different categories. The first is uh, introvert or extrovert. The second is, I need to figure out what these letters mean. <laughs> All right, so the first letter is either E or I, which is for extroverted or introverted. The second letter, which is S or N, stands for sensing or intuition. Third letter is T and F, which is thinking or feeling. Last letter is J and P, which is judgment or perceiving. And then on the 16 personality test, it gives you a last letter, which is assertive or turbulent. So the exciting part, I am ENFP-A, which this personality test calls the campaigner. I've taken this before and I've gotten this numerous times. I've also gotten one other one, but um, only once. So I'm, I'm thinking the campaigner is my best bet. So after you take the test, you get to a page, which is the introduction, which just basically tells you an overview of your personality type. Mine says the campaigner personality is truly a free spirit. Can't disagree. They are often the life of the party, but unlike types in the explorer role group, campaigners are less interested in the sheer excitement and pleasure of the moment than they are in enjoying the social and emotional connections they make with others. Which I find to be very true about myself. I enjoy social gatherings and I do like having fun and whatnot, but I also really enjoy, I think more so, just making connections with people and then on top of that, connecting people with each other. That's like one of my favorite things to do. It says, Charming, independent, energetic, and compassionate, the 7% of the population that they comprise can certainly be felt in any crowd. Thank you. Campaigners are fiercely independent and much more than stability and security, they crave creativity and freedom. It's funny because this also goes kind of in line with my zodiac sign. Something they say about Sagittarius is they're truly like a free spirit, like to uh, like explore, blah, 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 and I'm feeling like this lines up a lot with that, which is kind of nice, I guess. Makes me believe it a little bit more. And then at the bottom, it actually gives you people that you may know with the same personality type. Robert Downey Jr., Robin Williams, Quentin Tarantino. Great group of people. Where are the women at? What women are ENFPA, you know? So the next page is strengths and weaknesses which for my personality type, it says my strengths are curious, observant, energetic, and enthusiastic, excellent communicator, knows how to re knows how to relax, very popular and friendly. I feel like all of those are pretty true. Yeah. I mean, without going into full detail, I think all those are pretty good. But what I find more interesting is the, the weaknesses. It says, campaigners suffer with poor practical skills. They find it difficult to focus, they overthink things, and they get stressed easily. Highly emotional and independent to a fault. Also, all things I agree with. Yeah, I, that is very true. I do sometimes find it difficult to focus. I, my mind is running all over the place. I'm always thinking of something, but then I can't really hone in on one thing and get anything done, which leads into the next point, which was overthinking things. And then the one that stands out to me the most is highly emotional. And then, and then it says there, while emotional expression is healthy and natural with campaigners, even viewing it as a core part of their identity, 
It can come out strongly enough to cause problems for this personality type. That is very true. I wear my heart on my sleeve and I, it's very clear what I'm thinking or how I feel in the moment. I can't pretend or fake or anything like that. I just very emotionally reactive as my doctors would say. So the next category is romantic relationships. When it comes to romantic relationship, there's hardly anyone around who is more excited than campaigners to share with their partners the bounty of ideas and eye-opening experiences that life has to offer. Yes, I agree with that. Ask, ask Jeff. I think the moment him and I actually started to date, I was like, let's start traveling, let's do things. He had never actually been to Europe before, so that was something that was high on the list of things to do. But yeah, I think, I don't know what Jeff's personality type is, so we should we should <laughs> have him take it. But I feel like whatever it is, it's opposite enough to where we really attract to each other. It says campaigners take their relationships seriously and they are known for their unabided and unshakable devotion to the people to whom they've committed their hearts. I also agree with that. I have never been one to hop around in the dating world or anything like that. Anyone that I've you know decided to spend a lot of time with as someone that I've at least tried to think that they're worth spending a lot of time with and now I'm finally, I'm finally right, which is great. It says campaigners have the advantage of irresistible charm when it comes to attracting a partner. Campaigners, warmth, excitement, and passion are simply alluring. Thank you, again. It says you cannot live without a fire. Long distance relationships are quite common among campaigners as they view physical distance as just another idea, not much for concepts like love. So one of my first relationships was uh, very long distance and it was fine. I, I like having time to myself and to do my own thing, but something that I found, especially with Jeff, is that I, I still like being alone. I like doing my own things, but I more than anything love doing things with him and sharing things with him and experiences. Um, so I, yeah, I do agree with that. And then the next part says, so you think you know the real me. Campaigners go all in with their relationships and if they fall apart despite their efforts, they can end up plagued with questions about why their relationship failed and what they could have done differently. Without a buoy, their thoughts can crush campaigner self-esteem as they sink into depression. Yeah, maybe I've been I've been through <laughs> a bad breakup or two that, that kind of put me in a space like that and kind of left me questioning what I did or what was wrong. And then you get out of it and you realize, not everything is your fault and you pick yourself up by the bootstraps. Next category is friendships. As friends, campaigners are cheerful and supportive. They always share, uh, they're always sharing and developing ideas and staying open-minded, taking in others' thoughts and feelings. I agree with that. I'm always one to bounce off ideas with friends or be one to sit there and listen to someone. As with other relationships, campaigners view their friendships as opportunities to experience another angle of the universe. I cannot stress enough how much I believe in that. I have a very diverse group of friends who all bring something different to the table that I love so dearly and it's all it's it's amazing when we have all of us in the same room because we all are on different wavelengths but all like in the same place if that makes sense but yeah i love bouncing ideas off each other i love hearing other people's stories i love connecting with people that's a huge reason why i do instagram and youtube and all that stuff anyway like when i get dms from people about advice or saying hello from a different country or or telling me a story uh, I find that amazing. I don't know. Like I, I just love hearing other what other people have to say and getting another view of the world. And it says, luckily, campaigners are open-minded and sincere enough in their friendships and connect with and understand even their acquaintances well enough that they recognize that not everyone's, not everyone expresses themselves in the same way, and that's okay. That is something I picked up very quickly. I'm very empathetic. I can feel when someone is in a different place than I am, and I am very good at kind of putting myself in their shoes and figuring out what I can do to help or if I can do anything to help. Yeah, that's me. Parenthood, yikes. Oh, if there's anything that makes campaigners great parents, it's a sense of wonder they have for all things new and beautiful, a sense that they will be able to share with their children every day as they learn and grow. Ugh. Like I said in our last video, I truly, truly, truly believe that my purpose in life is to be a dad. I grew up with a big family. I have a ton of nieces and nephews. And 
And nothing brings me more joy than like spending time with family, especially babies. I love babies. Uh, I love spending time with Jeff's family and, and Jeff's nieces and nephews. I just feel like it's a great way to pass on something to the next generation. I, I want, I'm like so looking forward to the day when I get to raise a child to be, you know, kind and caring and smart and that's just, that's just something that's super exciting to me. And then the next thing in the parenthood says, go on and spread your wings. As their children approach the teenage years, all of this emotion and attention can start to cloy and their children may seek a more private independence. This can be a challenge for people with the campaigner personality type. They have strong emotions and invest those emotions heavily in the things and people they care about. Very true. I will be devastated when my kid grows up and <laughs> needs a little space for me, but what can you do? Luckily for them, so long as they raise their children with a sense of productive independence rather than a aimless, against the grain antipathy, campaigners will find that their children have developed a strong sense of self and self worth going confidently on, on out into the big world. And that is the goal. Next category is career path. If there's a challenge campaigners face when selecting a career, career, it isn't that they lack talent or options or drive, it's that they have so many things out there that they are just cool. I mean, it definitely doesn't say on here that I'd be doing what I'm doing now, and I never thought that I would be doing what I'm doing now. I have a background in economics and finance, uh, as well as public policy, but I'm always one to explore new opportunities and kind of take things as they come and see what I can do with every opportunity that presents itself. Uh, so the next part of the career paths section says, the opening of a door can be a wonderfully joyous moment. Campaigner's ability to network and match the communication styles of the people around them is a huge plus, which again, being empathetic, being able to put myself in other people's shoes also kind of falls in line with this. I am pretty adaptable to new situations. I can always find something to relate to with someone else that I don't know in a new situation, which is a great quality, I think. And this is just reassuring that that is part of my personality. And the next part says too many bosses, too few workers. Where campaigners do not shine is in systems of strict regiment and hierarchy such as military service. Maybe that's why I am sitting on my couch making a YouTube video and not at a corporate job or evidently in the military. Campaigners thrive on the ability to question the status quo and explore the alternatives. I agree with that. I've been in, you know, I've been doing this full time for three years now to this month, which is uh, incredible. But in the past three years, I have had quite a few real jobs or nine to five type jobs, but they've been all with startups. And I think I like that environment a lot because it gives me the opportunity to put my ideas out there to challenge the status quo and, you know, not be just a number at a massive corporation. The last part that it gives you is workplace habits, which will be interesting since I work from home. There are two basic things that campaigners seek the most in the workplace. The chance to explore new ideas, like I just mentioned, and the chance to conduct that exploration alongside other people who share their excitement. Yeah, I, I couldn't agree more. I love being around like-minded people as much as I love being around people that have different points of views, but especially in a work environment, I like to be on the same page as the people around me, I'm all kind of working towards a common goal. Maybe that's why I work by myself, but yeah, I feel like that's, that's pretty good. It says campaigners are growth oriented and as subordinates, they'll impress their managers with their creativity and adaptability. Um, again, something I just mentioned, when I am in a working environment, especially with the team, I really try and enjoy proving myself as either the best or that I know what I'm doing or that I am of value to the situation. It says campaigners are people people and as far as the workplace is concerned, this quality shows through best amongst colleagues. That you would have to ask my colleagues. I feel anytime I've been in a workplace environment or even doing this with you know clients or brands, I feel like I can connect to anyone. I always find some kind of level ground to connect with people. I, I feel like that's a really big part of my personality is being a connector. Finally, it gives you the conclusion of everything. It says few personality types are as creative and charismatic as campaigners. Known for their idealism and enthusiasm, campaigners are good at dealing with unexpected challenges and brightening the lives of those around them. Campaigners' imagination is invaluable in many areas, including their own personal growth. 
So my personality type is ENFP-A because I'm more assertive than I am um, turbulent. Is that the other word? I forget. Um, clearly, I did not write all this down. I just went through it live with you guys. So sorry for looking down and reading the screen. But I, I've been wanting to make this kind of video for a while only because uh, you do get a glimpse of my personality and my mannerisms and how I talk and how you see me interact. Um, but I figured what better way than to actually tell you my personality type and give you a better glimpse at uh, what kind of person I'm like. So if you want to take this uh, assessment test, you can go to 1616personalities.com. Um, this is not an ad. Uh, and it's literally free, it takes less than 10 minutes. And when you're done, come comment below so I can see what kind of personalities you guys have. And if you have the same personality type as me, go you. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to click the subscribe button and the thumbs up and share this video with a friend and give me a comment. Come back and tell me um, what your personality type was and what kind of videos you want to see next. Until next time, bye!